Hello, and thanks for joining us from our studios in Israel. I'm Denise Wood here with ILTV's Morning Briefing. We open with news of a stabbing attack this morning in Jerusalem. The victims are two elderly women who were taken to a Jerusalem hospital with moderate injuries. The attack took place in a wooded area below a promenade in the East Talpiot neighborhood. Police say there were two masked attackers who fled the scene of the attack toward the nearby East Jerusalem neighborhood, Jabal Mukabe. Police have since captured the two attackers and say they suspect the incident was a nationalistic attack. Presidential candidate Hillary Clinton is a member of the Methodist Church, but she's blasting the denomination's decision to consider divestment from Israel. The United Methodist Church is meeting today in Portland, Oregon, to discuss four resolutions calling for divestment from the company's Caterpillar, Hewlett Packard, and Motorola, because they work in Israeli settlements in the West Bank. Clinton responded by saying the BDS movement is counterproductive to peace and claims the BDS seeks to punish Israel and dictate how the Israelis and Palestinians should resolve the core issues of their conflict. Clinton also equated the BDS movement with anti-Semitism and vowed to fight any trend that attempts to isolate or delegitimize Israel. The Iranian defense minister Hossein Dagan is denying reports that his country recently test-fired a ballistic missile that's capable of reaching Israel. This comes as his own deputy chief of staff said the Islamic Republic fired a highly accurate missile in a test two weeks ago. The defense minister is now denying the report, but says Iran is continuing to increase its defensive capabilities, including its ballistic missile program. This isn't the first time Iran has been questioned about its missile programs. In March, Iran tested short and medium-range ballistic missiles. And last October, it tested a long-range missile that may have violated the nuclear deal reached in July with the world's superpowers. London's new Muslim mayor, Sadiq Khan, has only been in office for a few days, but he's already building bridges to the city's Jewish community. Mayor Khan is stressing the need to improve relations between Jews and Muslims in the British capital, and his first official act in office was to attend a Holocaust memorial. Now, he's saying he's considering a trip to the Holy Land and says he welcomes the possibility of leading a trade delegation to Israel. Khan also claims he's dedicated to tolerance and coexistence, despite coming under criticism for being a part of the Labour Party, which was rocked by an anti-Semitism scandal when former London Mayor Ken Livingstone was suspended for anti-Jewish and anti-Israel statements. Khan is denouncing the scandal, calling it a badge of shame. That's all for now. I'm Denise Wood, and see you later with our main daily broadcast from Israel at 2 p.m. Eastern Time.